Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. This is Pravin Dore from Dice University and in today's video we are going to talk about why you shouldn't use lead page to create your affiliate pages. So it's going to be really really interesting so stay tuned until the end of the video and before we start our video please support us by hitting the subscribe button, the like button as well as the bell notification so we can create keep creating content which you love so let's begin hi everyone today's video we are going to talk about why you shouldn't use lead page for your affiliate pages and when we talk about landing page builder i don't know about you guys but when we talk about landing page builder the first two names that will come to my head is click funnels and lead page so lead page is that famous when it comes to the industry of landing page builder it's so useful a lot of users i think they have more than 40,000 users in their platform alone if I'm not mistaken so they are extremely famous when it comes to landing page builder but then why you shouldn't use them for your affiliate pages and this is something that you have to understand guys when we talk about affiliate pages landing page is is the general term and affiliate pages is actually the sub term for the landing page like there's a lot of landing page a uh, product page there's sales page uh, upsell page mlm page and affiliate page is one of them so let's now we can actually now knowing what is affiliate pages now we can actually get started into the depth of why you shouldn't use lead pages for your affiliate pages first thing first lead pages are not flexible and when i keep telling about all the characteristics why you shouldn't use lead pages you will realize something which is a uh, which 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 if you're a beginner affiliate marketer you'll be thinking on this point of view ah it's okay i think i can manage it but if you're an experienced affiliate marketer then you will be thinking hey this is something which is not good at all. That's because lead page is very, very famous with beginner affiliate marketers. But if you are an experienced affiliate marketer, then you will feel that lead page is not the place that you have to be. But now we're going to talk about things that cater for both affiliate marketers as well as, sorry, both beginner affiliate marketers as well as, as experienced affiliate marketers. So the first thing is it's not flexible, which means you have a template and then you want to do a customized change within your template. You want to do a significant change within that template. Sorry to say, guys, you can't do any of it. So you are stuck with the template that you have. You can't do much big, big changes within the template. And that's what we meant by it's not flexible. Or should I say in another word, you can't customize it a lot. The second reason is limited style function so if you are an experienced affiliate marketer you would know that you have to make your landing page or your affiliate pages look exactly like your offer page or almost similar so to do this the lead page have a very very limited style function it will not be able to be customized like how it looks in the offer page or the branding page or whatsoever. It's really, really hard to do that because this is how the lead page was built. They, they focus a lot on their templates. They do have a lot of great templates. I'm not denying that, but the customization of their templates are where they actually fall back a lot. And this actually, you can actually link the limited style function together with the particular one that we said which is not flexible not customizable as well so the next one that we are going to take a look at is clear box so when we talk about box when we talk about glitches all tech companies have glitches all even big big tech companies like iphone they did have box like crazy so this is a very common thing guys so in, even in landing page builders uh, industry the uh, affiliate marketing industry bugs are very common but with the lead page, you can actually see the significance of the bug much more clearer compared to their competitors. It's very, very obvious. You can like you can feel the bug 
anxiety you guys you can feel the bug disturbing the whole operation with other softwares you can't feel the glitch doing that but with landing a lead page you can actually feel the 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 the, the, the particular bug is actually disrupting your operation which is very bad i always feel like lead page caters a lot for beginner affiliate marketers but they don't concentrate on the quality uh, they do have a lot of good templates they do have an easy to use interface and all that stuff but then there are bugs you you have to do something about these bugs it's very bad because it's it's already bad and then it's more bad if it actually disturbs the operation which it does so this is something that i would really really hope that lead page fix very very soon and the next thing is it's not worth it if you were to take a bigger package. So lead page, uh, I think the lowest package that they have is $25 per month if you take the annual package and uh, $200 to $300 per month if you take, uh, $200 if you take the uh, annual package per month and uh, $399 if you take the monthly package. So if you take the low package, you can actually see the pricing is actually uh, differs a lot right and the initial pricing which is the beginner package uh, is like $25 I think that's a, one of the best prices which has in the whole landing page industry it's very cheap easy to use but I would definitely suggest you to go ahead and opt in into the free trial first before you start paying any money you should do this with most of the landing page builders guys so use the free trial first before you opt in into um, the pain package, but if you're using the $24 package or the $40 package, I think it's actually worth it. But if you're using a bigger package like the big ones, like a $200 package or $300 package, I really think that lead page is not the place that you have to be. If you have bigger money spent, if you have bigger experience, this is not the package that you want. You can use other packages like Insta page. You can use Unbound, which are cater more to uh, experience affiliate marketers, not lead page guys. So it's not worthy if you're taking the bigger package. Keep that in mind as well. So the last one is they have a very, very easy to use user interface and uh, user interface on uh, the navigation and all that. But their user experience is pretty poor. So they usually compare lead page and click funnels. They usually compare uh, like you're going to a normal hawker shop and you're going to a very nice restaurant. So that's the difference. So if you go to a hawker shop, the food is good. I'm not saying that hawker shop do not give good food, but then you might be sitting in the street. Uh, uh, if rain, you might not be able to have shelter. The weather might be hot for you. But if you're in the restaurant, in the food, would be okay as well and then you have aircon you are sheltered so all this so that's what depends uh, that that's how you determine the quality right and i feel like lead page has everything except their user experience they do have a very very easy to use interface they cater a lot but they are more to the hawker store compared to the breast store and they should definitely try to do something to improve their user experience and even 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 now they have like 40,000 users if they do this I think they can reach 100,000 users very very easily because they are really really good but then now the main problem about the lead page is that it does not cater for experienced affiliate marketers it is catering for beginner affiliate marketers so what if you're an, a beginner affiliate marketer as well as you're an uh, experienced affiliate marketer you want to you want something which caters for both then you can definitely use the the land rights. It's a brand new landing page builder which was built. I've actually included the link for land rights in the description of this video. Just go ahead, click on the link, go to the home page and check out land rights, guys. It's definitely worth it. Why? First thing is that it's uploaded in Amazon S3, which means it is going to be super fast loading speed, guys. It's not gonna load slow it's going to load really really fast and that is really really good you as an affiliate marketer should know that how important is your landing page loading time and if your landing page loads very fast it's very very good very, very healthy for your click rate as well as your click through rate as well and with landerize you can actually integrate landerize with external trackers like volume rate track binome and all this kind of stuff as well 
and they do still maintain the drag and drop builder with i think around 50 templates if i'm not mistaken i've actually used them they have 50 templates and then i i really hope that because they're just starting right so i really hope that they actually improvise on the amount of templates that they can provide us like 100 templates which i think they will be doing very very soon so yeah, from my experience if you just go to land rise you can actually go ahead and set up your landing page within five minutes and it's, it's actually really really true they say this in their website and it's actually really really true even though you're not an experienced affiliate marketer just starting in the affiliate marketing journey you can actually create your landing page within five minutes and another best part and this is the best part that i love about landerize is the most best part guys it's that it's catered for affiliate marketers especially catered for affiliate marketers and what's the best part it's built by an affiliate marketer so it's built by an affiliate for affiliate because as an affiliate marketer we always have a different preference when creating our affiliate pages in uh, in specific and so uh, like landing page they have a lot of categories so we want to create uh, affiliate pages so we do have a little bit of what we will be feeling right like, hey, it would be nice if this happened it would be nice if this happened but you can only feel that if you are an affiliate yourself and that is why landerize is so awesome for affiliate pages because it's created by an affiliate for affiliates guys so definitely go ahead and check out like i told you just now i have actually put the link to landerize in the description of this video so definitely go ahead and check out guys so i think i've reached to the end of today's video i really really hope that you enjoyed today's video on top of that i really really hope that today's video was beneficial for you so please support us by hitting the subscribe button the like button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos thanks for watching everybody i'll be seeing you in the next one bye bye